I'm Allison Howard, and I am joined by the fantastic Amy Fleury. She's actually so fantastic that my intro to introduce her is so long and massive, I have to read it from my phone. So here we go. Fashion editor. Are you going to be embarrassed? I'm, I'm going to just no, name no. off your athlete. You should be proud. Fashion editor, uh, contributor to some of the biggest publications on the newsstands, including In Style and Country Living. Amy's also the co-founder co of the Paper Cut Project, correct? Yep. And uh, that's a company that conceives art direction and highly crafted installations um, in paper with clients such as Kate Spade and uh, Cartier, is that right yep. as well? Yep. Fantastic, that's the name of you. And you're passionate about bringing DIY PR to um, small creative businesses or businesses in general, right? In general, but specifically small creative businesses have okay. is my heart. Because these are businesses, and that's what I want to talk to you about today yeah. just a little bit. These are businesses that, because they're small, they typically can't afford um, some type of a publicist. Right. So you're right. teaching these people how to do... Get their own press. Right. Because editors want to write about them and they want to know about them, but oftentimes they feel like they need to have a publicist to make that introduction. Right. And that's just not the case. But until some an editor speaks up and says, here's what we need, here's what we don't, and if you don't put yourself in front of us, someone else is going to fill that space. Right. And so I just try to give more or less um, small businesses, entrepreneurs, confidence that editors do want to hear from them. Um, we thrive on new material, so we need that every month, every week, right. and that I try to simplify the process so you know what it looks like and what you um, don't need. Right, fantastic. What are your top three tips for, uh, you know, when it comes to DIY PR? So for me, as a wedding planner and a small business owner, what are three things I could do to, you know, get my name out there and contribute to some type of a publication, whether right. online or off? Right. One is to... Um, understand the editorial calendar, which is, for example... Oh, I've heard of that. <laughs> a lot of people think, like, the time to pitch holiday story is when they start hearing holiday music in right. the stores or something. And think, they think, oh, I've got a great story. When, in fact, national magazines wrote those in summer. Right. So there is... Uh, national magazines are six months in advance. Regional magazines are pulling together their issues three, four months in advance. And then the blogs and online magazines are one week to a month, something like that. So getting the timing right. Um, this is a big one, and we're going to talk about this today here, is that I think oftentimes you might think, I've got this wedding. Right. An editor would like the whole thing. Like, I'm just going to give the editor the whole thing. Right. An editor would see, like, five different stories in that wedding, and we only want you to pitch one angle of that story. Okay. That makes Rather sense. than... The yeah, entire the, thing. That's overwhelming. Right. Very few places are just going to run the whole thing anyway. But there are a lot of great ideas within the story, so within one wedding, you might get published five different ways. So that's a very um, economical approach. And the other thing is the most important thing, photography. Um, well, then on photography. I was going to say, that's what I love about your book. And if you can just tell me really quickly, is your book available for the masses now? It, it is. It's RecipeForPress.com. Okay, RecipeForPress.com. So if you want to learn how to do your own DIY PR, yeah. that's, the, that's the Bible for from it. The, yeah, it is because it's from the point of view of the editor. Oh, right. And editors just generally don't share this kind of information, but at some point I broke away from my editorial and I felt like this is something that people knew these simple tricks. They're right. so simple. I would just see the people make the same mistakes over and over thinking they're doing it right, spending a lot of energy you know, to put it out there, and they're really undermining the whole effort. Right. So this right. just simplifies the process and, and um, tells you what we need and what you want. Fantastic. Well, I have the book. I can't wait to read it. I can't wait to hear you speak today. Yeah, at the I'm looking forward to it. And uh, a few fun questions. Yeah. Okay. Hills or flat? I'm six. I, I was going to say, she's going to say flat. <laughs> See, I'm 5'2", so I always say hills. So you're on <laughs> okay, are you more of a cocktail person or a glass of wine person? A glass of wine. What kind of wine? Um, I'm going to go with the French, like, Cote d'Ivoire. Oh, well, I don't even know what that is. I'm a tequila girl myself, so <laughs> I guess we won't be meeting for drinks later. <laughs> I, can, I, can, I can move into tequila. I, I bet, like, opposites are trying. Don't we care? There we go. We would have so much fun. We'd have something. <laughs> well, thank you so much for, for taking the time to chat with me.
me. And if you would like more information, visit us at our website, weddingandeventinstitute.com. Y'all have a great day.